small adjustment. So yeah, going to be trying to castle on the opposite side of the board to my opponent. And uh, I'm, I'll tell you what, I'm also going to keep the queens on uh, as much as possible. Uh, I mean, I might sacrifice my queen, but I will try not to swap it off for my opponent's queen. Um, we're, we're just going to have to see how well that works. So yeah, two things I'm going to try and do. Thing number one, castle opposite side to my opponent. Thing number two, uh, what was thing number two? Thing number two was keep the queens on. Okay. Um, I'm going to try a stonewall dutch. Because I think maybe that's the uh, the best opening for me to keep the queens on. Uh, and also to castle queen's side. Let, let's see how this works. Uh, this isn't the best way of playing it as black. But uh, just trying to think of ways that I can maybe go b6, bishop b7 and knight d7. In order to um, castle queen's side here. Guessing my opponent's going to go f4 here? Okay, decides not to. Well, it does mean that uh, I'm going to be pretty successful in this castle's queen side. Let's even go f4 first. And uh, underline my aggressive intentions for this game. And here we have it. This, John, is how we castle on the opposite sides of the board. And uh, all I have to do now is keep the queens on. And uh, try and play some vaguely entertaining chess. But um, that should be fine. I suppose, you know, try and play good moves. But, you know, you can't you can't have everything. So, yeah, see, now with castles on the opposite side of the board, I am just launching all of my pawns at my opponent's king. So, going to take on g3. Go h4. And look how much further my kingside attack is compared to my opponent's queenside play. He's got pawns on a2 and b2. I have pawns on g5 and h4. So, yeah, I'll leave it up to you to decide which one of us is getting the job done. So, I can sacrifice a piece with queen takes g3, rook takes f6, rook h2. Rook f2, bishop h3. Oh, it's very close to working. Very, very close. Knight g4 is the sensible move here but I could never resist giving up a piece uh, and it seems like my opponent can resist taking it so I guess that makes it a good decision from my point of view knight g4 check or rook f8 rook f8 looks pretty strong here now knight g4 I think just wins. King f1, rook takes f3, bishop takes f3, queen f2, mate. King e1, then queen takes g2 wins. And that is going to be game over. And my opponent does resign there. So we castled on the opposite sides of the board. And number two, we kept the queens on the board all the way to the end. Let us see if we can manage this all the way past 9.30. Got at least another 20 minutes left, perhaps potentially a little bit more. Um, okay, 1c4. Going to move some queenside pieces. Give myself the option of castling on either side of the board. Uh, and Because, you know, you can normally work on the assumption that your opponent is uh, going to castle um, kingside. So I'm leaning towards... Uh, developing all of my pieces on the... Um, well, I seem to have lost the ability to speak, which is slightly irritating. Uh, yeah, so I'm leaning towards castling queenside. But of course my opponent could still move this bishop and then go queenside himself. Uh, let's go bishop e2, keep these options open. I don't like the way I'm playing this game, actually. E4 is quite a good move for my opponent at some point, perhaps. Go D3. Yeah, regretting saying that, uh, that I'll castle queenside if he castles kingside right now. Ooh. How are we going to make this work? Well, we're going to. Uh, oh, can't castle queenside just yet. Let's go bishop C3 first. 
Ah, that's it. I'm going to bring my knight back to d2. Keep some control. Let him have this g2 pawn because, you know, that will only open up play. And there we go. There's the queenside castles. Excellent. Now we can get on with trying to play good chess. Obviously keeping the queens on the board as ever. So my opponent's getting, him, getting ready to play b5. Uh, so I'm going to get ready to go g4. B5, I'm getting ready to go B3. Going to drop this move. Now B4, I can just drop my bishop back to B2. And that doesn't look too scary right now. So, hey-ho. Hmm. Knight D5, that's quite a good move. Bishop A5. Don't want his knight coming into B4 and causing havoc. So... Didn't really want to. I didn't like lines like bishop b2, knight b4, queen b1, queen c6. Ooh, that would be painful. Um, so yeah, steering clear of anything like that. He can take on e3 here. I was kind of hoping knight c5 would get me somewhere, but not, not sure where I'm going just yet with this. But uh, lots of pieces on the board, so opportunities to... Ooh, if I, t if I take, then he's got bishop g5 check and something. Okay, let me take this off first, and then go queen takes f2. This feels okay, but I don't like the fact that my queen and bishop are opposite the rook on f8. Especially with him having bishop g5 check. So, going to take my king off that diagonal. And then put the queen on c5. 3, 5. Pawn down. Well, we could exchange queens. But, uh, no, that's not in the spirit. Bishop g5, maybe. Queen b2. Knight f4. Simply bring rooks to the centre. How are we going to create counterplay here? Certainly my mating attack hasn't really come to fruition just yet. Okay, I want to try and go g5 and bishop takes e5. My opponent spots that. So, I'll go queen b2 to increase the pressure on e5. And he spots it. Playing pretty well. I'm just going to have to take it off and play g5. Bishop takes g5. Bishop takes e5. Then I can make use of the g file, finally. Oh, wow. He flicks in this. That's a really impressive move, actually. And we're down to only queens and rooks. Queen's still on the board, though. Let's make use of the g file. Both of us down to less than a minute on the clock. 41 seconds, please. 46. Um, but yeah, the extra pawn that my opponent has here is just the most important point in the position. He offers me a draw. Not interested. Nope. Queen, keep it in the centre. Uh, not certain where my play is. I'm trying to get some kind of rook g6 to work. But uh, it's obviously going to be very risky. Okay, g5, h4. Not sure I like this from my opponent's point of view. Uh, okay, queen g4. Hit the rook on c8. And then queen h5. Uh... Take off. I might get mated after queen takes d3, but you know, hopefully not. I think queen d6 is a draw now. Oh, maybe it's just winning with rook f2. Yeah, draw.
gonna give my opponent a rematch. So that's the first half point dropped of the night. Congratulations to EN John Peter 101. Um, how are we going to keep the options open for our castling in the second game? Well, let's try a kind of standard opening. And again, prioritize queenside development. Yeah, and it's going to work this time round. Queen to c7. Castle's queenside. And here we have our standard setup. Ooh, that wasn't a very good move. Maybe. Take some... Nah, who cares. Uh, is he going to go d5 here? He is. Well, this kind of reminds me of a King's Indian a little bit with the... Except that's not opposite sides castles at all, is it? But something about the pawn structure is kind of King's Indian-y. So I want to try and bring this knight to f4, play f5. I need to relocate this bishop, which is pretty useless on b7. Maybe it can come back to c8. Uh, maybe rook to f8 to support f5 as well. Uh, why did I move that rook? The rook on d8 is doing literally nothing. Hey ho. F5 takes takes. Something something. Uh, I'm a bit worse here. Not liking my position all that much here. Kind of just being completely outplayed, if I'm being honest. Uh, need counterplay on the queen side. Problem is he's going to play knight takes a5 and then bring the knight into c6. So... I have no choice but to to complicate things as quickly as I possibly can. But this half-open uh, A-file should be decisive in my opponent's advantage, if I'm being completely honest here. But, um... It's kind of bad, because I've said I'm not going to swap the queens off. And boy, do I want the queens off the board in this position. Man, knight c6 is just going to kill me. I mean... Oh, my opponent offers me another draw. I mean, no. I'm not... I'm not taking draws. Uh, I'm quite happy to go down in flames. But, uh... But, yeah. Better to go down in flames in, a, in this kind of thing than uh, with a whimper. So... Pawn for me to try and keep counterplay if I can. But, uh... That being said, I do need to swap off a pair of rooks. Because it's just evil, the amount of pressure he has against my king here. Uh, knight back to f6, bring that into the game. Still fighting on, fighting bravely. So rook a1, I'm meeting with rook b1. Ooh, and I drop in exchange. Uh, I should have seen that coming. But, we will fight bravely on. We will fight, fight, fight. Um, not not sure what else we'll do, but we'll we'll carry on fighting. Uh, okay, maybe put the knight on g4 and then e5 if necessary. Okay, he's not after that. Um, I get the feeling my opponent might not be interested in the draw anymore. It's just a feeling. But um, he is down to less than a minute on the clock, so who knows? Right, I need a tactic. Uh, okay, let's just bring the bishop back. Oh, he's just going queen a2. Ugh. It's not helping at all. Okay, knight g4. Bring the bishop to f6. That's going to be my counterplay. Right, we're getting there. We're going to win this game. None of this uh, negative thinking. 
C7, another good move. G5. If I can get a pawn to G4, then maybe I can use the F3 square. Uh, that's an exchange back at least. Rook to B2, counterplay. That pawn on C7, kind of giving me one or two issues. Uh, in fact, I should probably just bring that back to defend. King b7. Yeah, I want my king looking after this pawn. Bring the knight back to defend. Queen across. Knight in. We're getting all our pieces into the game. Ooh, didn't mean to go to that square. No, I meant to go to b2. Oh no. That's a pretty severe mouse slip. Don't think there's going to be a way back. With this amount of time left. That's pretty tragic. Oh my word, and he gives the queen. Unbelievable. Only a few seconds left and suddenly I've already passed H-pawn. Okay, I'm going to give my opponent the draw if he wants it. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, uh, that that's a game of mouse lips. Um, you know what? I'm gonna take a rematch because uh, just because it's fun. That's so that's two one to me. Uh, okay, let's try another one b four. It was an opening that I'd been asked to play. Uh, we should definitely have time for at least one more mini series in this. Um, all right, I have to castle queenside. <sighs> Oh, that's going to be difficult. Uh, of course, that is dependent on what my opponent decides to do with their king. But let's just uh, let's make lots of pawn moves, and uh, that keeps everything nice and flexible. Knight comes out. Uh, knight comes out. Don't need to worry about that pawn. Who needs to worry about pawns? Uh, oh yeah, that was one of the pawns that was protecting my king on the queen side. Oh well. And f4. Let's turn this into a proper sacrifice. So it takes... Yeah, I've got a nice bind over the centre with these pawns on e4 and c4. So, yeah. Keep pieces on the board. Keep pushing pawns in the centre. Let's give a little check. Give a little check. See what my opponent wants to do. Can we play knight e6? It looks like fun, therefore we play. I mean, of course, it doesn't win any material because he takes and then plays c6. But you know, it's fun. Having fun here. Oh, I'd really like to be able to not take the piece back. Is there any way I can make this work? No. Gonna have to go with a tiny semblance of uh, common sense. Which I know is going to disappoint many hardcore viewers out there. Ooh, that's going to kind of put a dampener into my castling plans. Uh... Okay, I didn't want to allow the exchange of queens, so I'm going to bring my king to g3. There is no way that this could possibly backfire. No thing could go wrong here. It's a good thing he can't play d takes e4 because of the pin, because otherwise that followed by bishop d6 check would be pretty scary. Right, don't let my king get mated. It's a pretty high priority right now. Queen g4, rook f4. Ugh, that's a bit scary. So let's just go here. Queen takes e4. Ooh, queen takes rook there. No, that doesn't help. Queen there, rook f4. Queen d2. Queen d2 loses the queen. h4. 
says, hello, are you still here? So like, yeah. Uh, okay. Well, my king hasn't got mated. Yeah, he was just checking to see whether or not he was liking. Okay. Uh, right. What now? Rook F1? I really want that knight to go away. So yeah, apologies for not casting queenside in this game, but hopefully my king has provided some source of entertainment anyway. Queen comes out to g4. Uh, how are we now going to actually come back and attack in this game? Well, what I want to do is bring the bishop back to c2 and then target h7 as his weak point. Uh, he seems to be targeting uh, d4, but d4 is not as important as h7 because h7 is right next to my opponent's king. Ooh, g6 is an interesting move here. Bishop takes g6, rook g8, rook f6. Do I have any idea what's going on in that position? Basically, no. Gonna go for this, because it looks fun. Um, yeah, this is just going to be really fun. He could take on d4 here if he wants. Rook f7 would have been a huge mistake, by the way, because the queen takes f7. Need to bring this other rook into the game. Rook a f1 first. Ooh, knight f8. I mean... That's just a really good move, isn't it? My button is pretty good on these good moves today. Maybe he's going to equalise it at 2 all. But somehow I think with the amount of time he's got left to defend and the amount of pressure I've got on his king... Imagine if I could get this diagonal opened up for the bishop. That... That would be uh, pretty juicy. But I think that's going to be difficult. I need to maybe get the bishop to a3, or in via c1 and h6, or c1 and g5. c1 and g5 is feeling like the root to me. Hmm. My opponent goes for a little cheapo. Pins the pawn on e5, threatens queen takes. Now bishop a3, threatening to get rid of the uh, knight on f8. My opponent is down to only 13 seconds left. And here go his pieces as he kind of desperados his way through and with less than 10 seconds left that is going to be it game over finny